Comscope, the multinational network infrastructure provider, have developed a new shroudless street pole, the Phase 6, to assist providers with their ongoing coverage and capacity deployment needs. Starting at the base of the Phase 6 is a cabinet, which is where the feeders, all 48 of them potentially, will terminate because the number of feeders would otherwise be difficult for riggers to handle. As we now begin to move up the mast, it is important to note that this is currently in an unpainted state, awaiting colouring according to the mobile network operator's requirements for visual immunity in the location the mast will be installed. Now for the fun bit, the antennas. This street pole has six specially designed 8-port RZVV65BR4 antennas, each with two low-band ports that operate between 694 and 960 MHz, four ultra-wideband ports that operate between 1695 and 2690 MHz, and then two ultra-wideband ports that go all the way down to support the supplementary downlink band, so 1427 to 2690 MHz. This obviously provides a huge possibility of deployment options to mobile network operators, especially in terms of sharing the mast between them. Naturally, I decided to plan out some schematics and layouts for very high capacity configurations that the UK's mobile network operators could deploy, taking advantage of the capabilities of the Phase 6 street pole. I will start off by talking about my Vodafone and O2 schematic, which features 44R for both the mobile network operators as well as 1400 MHz support for Vodafone. I have placed Vodafone using the top stack of antennas and they have their usual 800 and 900 MHz which is diplexed into the low band ports and then there's the 1400 MHz supplementary downlink going into those ultra wideband ports that support that. And then the remaining four high ultra wideband ports are used to support 44R2100 MHz and 44R2600 MHz. This could be adapted to support 1800 MHz for Vodafone as well if one of the paired diplexers is swapped out for a triplexer. O2, meanwhile, existing on the lower stack, would get 800 and 900 MHz diplexed the same way that Vodafone has. They would then have their 1800 MHz and 2100 MHz diplex together into one set of the high ports. And then the remaining four high band ports are then used for 44R2300 MHz. Through this scheme, the operators are existing in a passive share configuration only, which is what regions like London are moving to at the moment where there is no active network equipment sharing, which then provides greater flexibility for the two mobile network operators. Out of comparison purposes, this is what a conventional Vodafone O2 street pole mast would look like that has been installed over the past few years. So this example has triple band Catherine antennas inside it, each of which have four low band ports and two high narrow band ports and from this the typical maximum configuration looks something like this so there's 800 megahertz and 900 megahertz are going separately because of the four low band ports but they are operating as multi-operator radio access networks so Vodafone and O2 coming out of the same radio modules and then 1800 and 2100 megahertz are diplexed into the high band port, once again operating as a multi-operator radio access network. So the phase six, with its 48 feeders and two quad band antennas on each sector, is a very significant jump on existing street pole solutions. I have also drawn a high capacity layout for EE and 3 existing in a passive share configuration. So in this schematic, EE is operating in the top stack of the mast and they have their 800 MHz in 2x2 two two, and then 1800 MHz, 2100 MHz and 2600 MHz 
all operating in 44R with the help of dual band remote radio units and 18 to 21 slash 26 diplexers. Three, I have put all their bands operating in 2T2R, but with some diplexers, they could also operate their 1800 and 2100 MHz in 44R if they so desired. And they have their 1400 MHz supplementary downlink deployed on the mast to take advantage of those ports that go all the way down to those frequencies once again. Massive thanks to Comsco for letting me come and see the Phase 6 street pole in person. It was quite a sight to behold how good it looks, especially being so used to the shrouded streetwear poles that are fitted all over the UK. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.